Blind man believes that the city he lives in is putting his life in danger. He blames the way that many intersections are designed there for the reason. New at 5 o'clock, Gabriel Rojas, live for us in McKinney, where the city says changes, in fact, are on the way. Gabriel? Well, intersections like this one at Lake Forest Drive and 380 do have a pedestrian signal, but in order to get to it, you have to cross a sometimes busy turning lane this one to get to the button just to activate it. You don't have one getting here. Now a man says if you have to do that with a disability, it could get you killed. Or somewhere back behind me on this intersection. What you're seeing was shot by a blind man who could only hear what he wanted you to see. I'm not uh, recording this video out of pity or anything. But I want you to see this is where Garvey earns his medal in this kind of traffic. Garvey is Justin Mann's guide dog. It's Garvey's responsibility to keep Justin from getting hit by a car, but Justin says he'd also like a little help from the city. You know, for all of the press coverage that is given of how great this is, uh, this is not a place um, I, I, I could recommend somebody live with a disability. The problem, Justin says, is twofold. First, pedestrians have to navigate their way through an often busy turning lane just to get to the island with the button to activate the pedestrian signal. That succeeds at regulating the traffic, but this and signals at similar McKinney intersections don't have audible signals for blind people. Wait. You, you have to listen and time the light based on your perpendicular and parallel traffic. A McKinney spokesperson tells us the city has already installed some audible signals, with more to come, including at the intersection in Justin's video. But Justin says it can't happen soon enough. Because this is something that needs to happen right now because it's going to get a lot more expensive later. Now, we just received a statement from the city and ended a McKinney spokesperson writes, quote, the concerns that Mr. Mann points out are valid and the city has been evaluating the different design options for other locations, end quote. Now, they also tell us they plan to have an audible signal right here at this intersection by the end of next week. At right now, there's no immediate plans for an additional signal for that turning lane, but they are looking into the possibility of additional signage warning drivers to watch out for pedestrians crossing the turning lane. We're live in McKinney, Gabriel Rojas, CBS 11 News.